I know that you, you have told this story a lot, but can you, for the first time in Munich, tell um, how you hunted down Bill Murray until you finally uh, committed to playing in Lost in Translation? Yes, when I was writing my script of Lost in Translation, I wrote it thinking of Bill Murray, and I, he was the only person I wanted to make it with. I wasn't going to make the movie with anyone else, so I really wanted to make the film. And um, Bill Murray doesn't have an agent, and he's very mysterious. He has a he had his his post office box, and he had a a, no, a voicemail. You could leave a message, and I I got I left messages for probably a year, and sent letters. And, and how often did you leave a message? Like every month or probably? I felt like a, a stalker, the crazy person. But I was so focused on I have to find Bill Murray, and and I would anybody I would. Me, like, do you know Bill Murray? And um, and then finally, I a friend of mine was, uh, who's a writer, I was old friends with him from from Saturday Night Live, and I asked him to to look at my pages of my script I was writing, and he thought it was interesting and something um, he could see Bill doing. So he helped me, and finally got in touch with him, and um, and then finally um, I got to meet him, and he said he might think about doing it. <laughs> but he was never very committal, and um, but I just went to Japan and started making it in the hopes that he would show up, and luckily he showed up. <laughs> I didn't have a backup plan. No? No. <laughs> and um, you spent much of your childhood on movie sets, and for Apocalypse Now, you even spent one year in the Philippines. I think you were five years old. Yeah, I think we were there for two over two years. Oh, yeah. yeah, around when I was around five. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, no, uh, uh, I went to a Chinese school yeah. in the Philippines, but they speak Tagalog. But I, I don't, I don't remember. Any. Okay. But I, but I enjoyed being there, and, and that was always fun to go on location with my family and get to live in many different places. Yeah, it sounds great because the movies are also so great and and so famous. But for a child, was it always fun and fantastic to leave your friends ever so often and move someplace else? Uh, sometimes it was hard when I, especially when I was you know, at the age where you're really close to your friends in middle school, but, um, so that part was hard, and I was going to a new school, but I, I also, it was very exciting, I loved going on location and living in a new place, and going, you know, getting to visit the set was always a, a, a magical, exciting place to visit. Mm -hmm. Two adjectives to describe your childhood. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. it was, um, interesting and exciting. <laughs> what I'm trying to understand, I think, is how, how much the feeling of isolation, oh. which is a big thing in all of your movies, has to do with you personally. Yeah, people always ask me that, and I think they expect me to be um, very melancholic and a loner. But I think when you're writing, or for, at least for me, when I'm writing, it's a very introspective time where I'm alone and thinking about that side of myself when I'm writing, but then you come out of that, uh, it's sort of like being in a cocoon and then you come out into life and interact. So I I have um, a, a side that's joyful and interacting with people too, but I think when I'm writing, I'm more in the introspective side. And I think it would, you know, I'm interested more in writing about characters when they're going through a transition or, or that the, the, the plot comes from the character's um, growth, and which is always hard, I think, to, to grow. and transition into different stages in your life, and so I, I tend to write more about that because the in-between when you're feeling what, what smooth sailing would be boring to write about because there's not much happening in that, you know, so I think I have, I definitely feel like I have both, both sides, but, but when I'm writing films, I, I try to be introspective and think about, um, you know, these aspects that I'm trying to understand. Mm -hmm. 